A family vacation in Maine was almost ruined last week by some really bad news. Not a shark attack, something far worse. Brian Stelter was fired from CNN. I will actually never forget where I was the moment I found out Stelter was fired. I was sitting in an Adirondack chair drinking a gin and tonic. I almost took a bereavement day because I was in mourning. But I wanted to give you the scoop about Pauly P's hearing, so I came in. Yesterday was the last reliable sources ever, and Stelter wasted no time with the theatrics. Hey, I am Brian Stelter. I am live in New York, and this is Still Reliable Sources. All right, here we go. One of the biggest media stories of the week is right here. It's the end of this show. CNN has canceled Reliable Sources. Reliable Sources has been a one-of-a-kind show and a popular show. This is one of CNN's highest-rated weekend shows. And this week, thanks to CNN management, we've been given the gift of signing off on our own terms and actually talking about the media industry. They fired me but gave me a gift. I still had to keep working. <laughs> and who brags about that? Being one of the highest-rated weekend shows on CNN? It's like being... One of the tallest jockeys at the Derby, or one of the cleanest Biden family members. Not a good analogy. Brian thanked his new boss, Chris Licht, what he licked, for letting him come in one last time, and then immediately made him regret it. I never thought it'd actually be on TV. I might have dreamed about it. I never thought it would happen. I just liked writing about TV. I know this is going to sound like BS, but I actually thought I didn't have enough hair to be on TV. Yeah, neither did we, Brian. But we're going to miss you here at primetime, especially your self-awareness. Have you thought about what we got right and what we got wrong in that past decade? Yeah, actually, we did. So let's take a walk down memory lane. Looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. CNN reported on Friday that U.S. authorities are seeing if those emails we just talked about are connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Huh. Jeff Zucker's departure was shocking to the staff of CNN. We lost our leader this week. But we're not going anywhere. Was he about to cry? It's okay, little buddy. We forgive you. And we're sorry that your firing got upstaged big time because earlier this morning, the face of COVID himself, Dr. Anthony Fauci, announced his retirement after 50 long years of bleeding the government dry. You know, he's like the most highly paid member of the federal government. He's stepping down in December, just in time before Republicans take control. And he's reflecting on his career in the humble manner we've come to expect from him. In an interview with The Washington Post, he said this, quote, I had to oppose the president of the United States, says Fauci. That is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I did it. Washington Post says he's long insisted he's a non-political person and speaks only to science. And that's convenient because science doesn't sit on the House Oversight Committee. Maybe Tony sees the writing on the wall and knows Republicans are going to retake the House in November and investigate him into oblivion. Or maybe it's just a big coincidence and he's leaving to spend more time with his bats. But we'll never forget Fauci. He'll mostly be missed by magazine editors who, whose covers he graced consistently over the last three years. Sources say Fauci would even bring his own hair, makeup, and lighting teams so the magazines would save on costs. And we all want to know, what's next for these two television stalwarts? If they want my suggestion, start a podcast. You can call it the Fouch and the Grouch. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.